Americans dead tonight following a shootout with police in Fayette County. Investigators say that the suspect stole a truck and then ditched it before stealing another during a home invasion and leading police on a chase. And that chase ended with a shootout, and now the GBI is handling this case. Christy Hutchings with News Radio 1067 joins us now. And Christy, what have we learned about the suspect? Well, the GBI just released his name a few minutes ago, and they said that the man killed in the shootout was 36 year old David Wesley Carroll of Carrollton. And they say he has a criminal history but could not elaborate. Right now, investigators are going over body and dash cam videos as well as talking to witnesses. It is very early into their investigation. It's important to understand that these investigations are, are very complex. Nellie Miles says the GBI will conduct an independent investigation into what happened out on Collinsworth Road in Fayette County, where multiple officers were involved in a shootout with a suspect. You can rest assured that we're going to work very hard to make sure that we get to the bottom of what we happened. What we know so far is at 10 o'clock Monday night, the Coweta County 911 call center received calls about an erratic driver on Interstate 85. Hit the guardrail a couple of times, uh, was losing uh, debris, parts, was coming off of a vehicle. Coweta County Sheriff Mike Yeager says a short time later they received another call. This caller stated a truck was ditched in the Palmetto Pine subdivision and the driver took off running, which leads us to the next 911 call. That a motorist back on Palmetto Collinsworth Road was, uh, uh, had an individual come out of the wood line pointing a gun at him. Then a fourth call, this one now for a home invasion in Tyrone, where an armed man came in the home and stole the keys to the homeowner's car. Deputies from Fayette and Coweta, along with GSP, set up a roadblock where the suspect crashed. The individual was climbing out of the car and was shooting, and officers, several officers from uh, multiple uh, jurisdictions returned fire. It's standard for the GBI to take over an officer-involved investigation, and Miles says these investigations take time. In this particular case alone, there were there are three active scenes and there are multiple officers. So it's not one of those, it's, they're not cookie cutter cases. And once the investigation is complete, it will be given to the Fayette County District Attorney for review. And at this point, we do not know how many officers were actually involved in the shooting. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're actually going to hear some of those 911 calls that were made it yesterday. Sounds like the investigation morning. is far reaching. Yes. Right. Christy, yes. thanks. Still ahead tonight as we continue, Georgia.